I am ready to show Madame Carlyle the funeral arrangements. You got rid of the birds? Yes. Perfect. I'll let her know. Mr. Parsons is ready to see Madame Carlyle. Well done, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground. Mr. Parsons, I don't like to be kept waiting. I trust we can be efficient now I'm here. I can be very efficient, Madame Carlyle. What's that picture of me doing here? What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow. I must say I don't care much for the choice of flowers either. I need a moment to consider what I want. What's that podium? I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe-cringing affair. I've never understood the need to publicly display grief. A person died, most natural thing in the world. No need to make an emotional spectacle of it. I hope you haven't planned for one of those. No, I prefer to keep it simple. And the gravestone. Granite, solid, no fuss. I like it. Well done, Mr. Parsons, I approve. Yes, it will mark your grave beautifully. So, to sum up, I expect you to remove my picture from the memorial. That was an absolutely horrendous idea. Very unfit for these historical surroundings. This is my ancestral burial ground. Simple and clean is how we've always gone about it, and how it will be this time as well. And the flowers. They look more fit for a wedding than my funeral. Maybe something natural, fitting the season and local fauna. Surely you're capable of figuring something out that doesn't look so misplaced. That's all, Mr. Parsons. I have other... That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Jeez! Command! Command! You there? Got one real dead stiff. 